Hey guys, it's Elliot, and today I am filming for the first time on my new camera, well, my new webcam, and hopefully it's at least a little bit better quality. I think so, so far. Anyway, today is another Surviving survive College Saturday, and today's video is all about surviving the bookstore and just how to save money in general when you are at college. So, I have the list right here. I didn't really list out that many things, which is kind of surprising, because when you're a college student, you really don't have that much money. So, here are, here's my list. Alright, so for the bookstore, I would suggest not ordering from the bookstore when you get your books. First of all, find out what books you need but then go check Amazon.com or like I know there's a website called Chegg. Like check all those websites to see and write those down and see what um, books are the cheapest and also take into account shipping and all that stuff. But if your school has a web, like a, I know for my school we have a Facebook web page that we can go to and sell each other our books. So if you have something like that use that because that is always basically always the cheapest way to get books and so I really really suggest that and then you can sell your books to other people because most of your textbooks you're never going to use again and yeah so that's just the easiest way to do it so that's all I have for the bookstore but now for saving money for college in general Take advantage of the things you are paying for with your tuition. And there's a ton of things that people don't even realize they're paying for. Because college tuition is so much money. Like, I don't even want to think about it. But it is a ton of money. And you're really paying for a lot of different things within that. Not only, like, if you live at college, so all your, you know living cost of living um your food is a ridiculous amount of money so like i know for my school it's about like ten dollars for each meal we get which is just ridiculous because i mean for real guys make it easy like you get one dollar one dollar or like half of it for a full meal so yeah i know like for Freshmen, at least. I'm not sure if sophomores do too, but you have to get on the um, eating plan. So I might look into like having a littler, a smaller, having a smaller like dinner, dining plan, whatever it's called. So then I could like buy my own food or something like that because I guarantee you that's a lot cheaper than paying ten dollars for every meal every single meal you eat every single day of the week like what no yeah but so yeah take advantage of the things that you are paying for such as like a fitness center you are paying to use that so go there also I know most schools like they have you can like you can go to the library and use their printers but for my school my school does that as well, but I think there's a limit on how much page, how many pages you can print out without it like costing you even more. And that is something that you are paying for, whether you realize it or not. So take advantage of that, and that's going to save you a lot of money on buying separate like ink and paper. And I know like some schools like the laundry is um, built into your tuition. So keep in mind that and wash your clothes. <laughs> but for my school, we have to pay for our laundry separately. So, and we have to pay for it in quarters. So I would suggest saving up your quarters. Like, we don't really think about saving our quarters or saving my change. But save up your quarters. And I actually keep mine in M&M containers. Like the mini M&Ms, whatever they're called. They come in those, like, tube things. I put my quarters in there. So, I would also suggest finding a job. 
And I know this can be very intimidating, but I guarantee you there's a ton of different jobs on your campus that, you know, that you could work for. So, um, maybe like the first sem semester of your freshman year, like you don't have to get a job, like adjust at least, like you can get a job, but just adjust to your classes and meeting friends and all that stuff and then second semester look into getting a job because I know for my school there are certain jobs that like if you apply you're for sure going to get the job like especially with the food services so just look into that it might not be the most glamorous job but it's getting you the money that you need and experience for later so then you have your own money and you don't have to keep sending off of your parents' money. So that is all I have for you guys today. And again, I forgot to mention that this is a collab video with Jen and Amanda. Anyway, I will link their channels down below and their videos as well. So definitely check out their channels and their videos and it will be awesome because this collab has been so much fun to do and... So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Leave your tips on how to save money for college, money in college, down below. And I will be sure to read those and reply and all that fun stuff. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.